Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to your royal gayness. This is a Finnish brand new indie game in which you play as a gay prince, trying not to get married to a princess. It looks like your carriage has arrived. Let's see, we have day zero, 100 gold. gold. I cannot speak. I guess this is some sort of attack value. And happiness, maybe? I do not know. Are you sure everything is alright, son? We'll be gone for two whole months after all. Dad, I'm not a kid anymore. I can handle it. Are you sure? I seem to recall that you nearly broke into tears when the cook burned your dessert last week. I didn't cry, and even if I did, the death of a creme brulee warrants a few tears. It's a king of deserts, after all. You're not shedding tears when the actual king is leaving, though. Stop teasing him, dear. We're keeping the carriage waiting. We'll miss you very much, darling. Keep your wits about and you'll do just fine. We didn't even get to finish our game. You won't have time to think about games when you're ruling, but I promise we'll finish it when your father and I return. Where are you going, by the way? Alright. You'll be a real man by the time we'll return. Ruling a kingdom tends to do that to you. Our little prince, all grown up. Maybe we'll even find a cute girlfriend while we're gone. Wink wink, nudge nudge. Haha, <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. Goodbye now! See you in a few months! Okay, Drake Master Magda. Now, as you all know, we've gathered here today to witness a transformation. Our dear Crown Prince Amir is taking the throne. It is only temporary, but a great responsibility nevertheless. For 60 days, the prince will rule in his parents, the Honorable King and Queen's stead. It feels like yesterday that he was playing in the garden with his toys. A marvelous blessing to the royal couple. His birth truly was a miracle. As an only child, his parents' hopes and dreams rest on him. He is no longer a child, but he remains the sole rightful heir to the throne of al -Mahar Marahi. It's my honor to introduce you to Prince Amir and his first word as a ruler. Great applause blooms in the royal halls. The citizens are curious to hear my words. I bet some of them are hoping that I fail, just so they can gossip about it for the next few weeks. I step in front of the audience and take a deep breath. Here we go. Your choices affect your resources, wealth, how rich you are, army, the strength of your forces, loyalty, your nobles' opinion of you, and happiness, the mood of your citizens. Okay. It's great to see so many of you today. I feel honored by the presence of each and every one of you. But most importantly, I want to thank one very special group. The common folk, the backbone of this nation, the nobles, the trusted allies of the monarchy. Um, well, nobles aren't too happy about me right now. So... Okay, let's go with this one. Mm -hmm, yeah, worth it. I hope to follow in the footsteps of my parents, under whose rule the kingdom has prospered. I may be inexperienced, but worry not, my parents left their three trusted advisors to guide me. Our Drake Master Magda, who kindly introduced me, is an expert on war and battle. She will keep us safe. My honorable parents also left their spy master and court wizard with me. Thanks to my spy master, Al Marahi is always up to date with the latest information and current political situation. As for my court wizard, well, he can brew the best, po best potions in all of Terra Iris. 
With their help, I will rule Almarahi. Almarahi. I'm going to get that wrong so many times. I'm sorry. To the best of my abilities. This I can guarantee. Before I end my speech, I would like to make one request to the people of Al Marahi. Encourage your sons and daughters to enlist in the army so that the country will be safe. Make donations to the royal coffers so that we have funds to make this country a better place. Um, mm, ask for money, ask for bodies. Asking money as our king is, <laughs> or prince. I don't like that. So let's ask ask them to join the army. Now it is time to celebrate, eat, drink, and make merry. The guests cheer and clap. So I can only assume my speech went at least decently. Spy Mr. Th Great speech, G. Thanks. I was shaking in my boots the whole time, and I thought my heart would jump out of my chest. That's alright, it doesn't matter how you feel on the inside, the people will only see what you present to them. A mask of sort, if you will. And my mask was... alright? Your mask was awesome! Forgive me for troubling you, your highness. Well, hello there. I am Lord Oakstrong from the Kingdom of Eroth. I've heard a lot about you, my lord, so I'm thrilled to finally meet you. Hi, uh, interrupt our conversation. Pleased to meet you. Call for us the Kingdom. Oh God, <laughs> let's let's not start with the insult. <sighs> Pleased to meet you, Lord Oakstrong. I hope you're journey was pleasant and Almarai is very beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> it wasn't that at all. Ah, yes, thank you very much. My journey was very pleasant and Almarai is very beautiful. A bit hot, though. <laughs> very true. I wouldn't mind visiting the forest of Aeroth and cool down a bit. I hear it's like paradise. You are very kind, my lord. I will speak of the pleasant time and I have here... I will speak of the pleasant time I had here when I return home. Now I must take my leave. Goodbye. That went well. I am proud of you, G. How you treat people from other countries affects your relationship with that kingdom, so it was wise to treat him well. Well, I thought so. No, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the wizard is so cute. Like a little toad. I really like the aesthetics of this game. <gasps> Boss, we have an emergency! What is it, Barry? I accidentally mixed a portion of fire breath in the punch. Barry, old fool, how did you manage to do that? My portion cover cupboard is color coded green, blue, purple, red, yellow. It looks like a rainbow. Cool. Anyway, I probably shouldn't have put a strawberry juice next to the fiery stuff. Yeah. Probably not. I need to fix this somehow. Accidentally trip and knock over the punch. Do another speech and inform people of the dangers of the punch. Tell your servants to discreetly take away the ball. Those guests won't be happy to see their punch taken away. I guess, but it's better than the alternative. You don't understand! Have you seen the glint in their eyes? Well, no, I haven't. They do look pretty thirsty. They sure are craving that punch. Look, here come the servants. Uh-oh. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in their shoes right now. Someone's rolling up their sleeves. Yep. Seems like it's going to get violent. Is that a mole I see? And a crossbow. Whoa, that <laughs> escalated quickly. How are these guests smuggling weapons into the castle? Oh. Run, servants, run!
Is everything all right, my liege? My body's not hurt, but I can't say the same about my pride. Disaster averted, huh? Good work out there. What do you mean? That was in no shape or form good. Castle didn't burn down, guests went home relatively safe and sound. I suppose it could have been much worse, my liege. We did lose a couple of soldiers who went to settle the fight. It got that violent. They're not dead, just in need of a long holiday. Those guests were vicious. What a wild day, though. And it's only going to get wilder. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this every time the spy master does it. Please, no. I'm already dead tired. Will you be alright, my liege? You carry a heavy burden. Because I'm gay? Well, that too. Even though I'm in the crown. Do you wish to talk about it? I'm alright for now. It's sad, really, that I've gotten so used to living in a lie. Maybe you can make things better. You wield a lot of power now. Suspicion meter shows how suspicious people are of your sexuality. Your choices affect how others view you, so be careful. If the meter fills up, you'll have to face challenges. Mm -hmm. Where is this suspicious meter? Is it this one? Probably. Just what's the suspicious suspicion mirror on top of the left for now yeah that's right there if the suspicion level rise too high there could be problems I know until I make some changes around here it's probably best for me to hide my sexuality <sighs> cheer up G I'll sneak you some leftover cake from the kitchens ah you are a very nice friend all right but no punch. Your Grace, I'm sorry to disturb your rest, but there are some matters that need your attention. We are expected to manage Al Marahi's resources, laws, and foreign relations daily. Also, Barry asked me to tell you that now is a good time to go to options and tick some boxes if you have generously supported growth of uh, Marahi. Okay, so let's go. Options. Yeah. Music, sound, text speed is that. On forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kickstarter backers. Okay. Done. No, tick some boxes if you have general server. No, no, I unfortunately have not, so. Oh wait, how I? I did buy this game, so. I don't know, let's just keep moving. Not sure what that means, but Barry says he can make a special someone appear if you do. I don't know. Maybe it was just for the Kickstarter backers. That's actually kind of cool, cool feature. Done. Good. We can get back to managing the kingdom. Management phase. Give commands to your advisors so they can help you shape your kingdom in the way you want. In the management phase, you can give commands to your advisor, brew potions at laws, check your stats, and read in the library. Use tabs on the top to navigate. Choose dungeon to visit the dungeon. What kind of dungeon is that? Don't worry, G, I'm here to help. Thanks. Select help from the quick menu at the bottom of the screen for screen specific help. Okay. This is the advisor's page. Here you can improve your relationships with other kingdoms. Just potions to get to the potions page. To spy to find information about other princes and princesses. If you want to try dating a prince, ooh, spy on him first to figure out his interests. Oh. Okay. Let's see. I like music. Well, um, 
gather wealth, gather army, improve relations, improve relations, brew a potion. Okay, I, I want to... I want you to spy a prince for me. Uh, that one looks cool. Which one? This one? Got your back, G. Thanks. You can improve relations. Yes, my liege. And you... Brew a potion. Chemical this type of connection made from various leftover ingredients. Who knows what it will do to you? Should be safe enough to drink. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Soda. With this potion you can go back in time. Sort of Barry hasn't perfected the recipes yet, so one potion can only take you so far. Used to gain an extra day. Huh. The beard. Tired of people questioning your manliness. <laughs> Having trouble feeding the mold. Spare no more with the beard potion. Beard potion, you can seem like the straight man society wants you to be. Yeah, that seems fun. Laws. This is the laws page. Here you can set up laws that affect the state of your kingdom. You need to support your need to support off your nobles to set the laws. Each law has a loyalty cost. Below the cost and the law description, you can see the daily effects of the law. Thank you. Where is my... Okay, yeah, there is the volume button, and I think I will... Put the sounds a little bit lower, even though the music is quite nice. It seems to be quite... Okay, maybe this is good. Finance, raise taxes, free education for children. The nobles will not like me. Paid army service, quality decriminalization. Homosexuality is legalized and no longer considered an illness. Okay, maybe I will not do anything for that just yet. I'm here to help. This is the stat base. Here you can page two. Here you can see Amir's stats and change Amir's outfit. Ooh. You can improve Amir's stats by doing various activities during weekends. Some outfits need to be unlocked before you can. They can be worn. Unlock them by playing the game. Uh huh. Ooh. All sorts of cute outfits. Okay, let's go with this one. Florence Hobby's Prince Amir trains himself to become a better ruler. A good leader must have a charisma to be heard and the nerve to challenge others and to speak to his people, the talent to dazzle his court, and the uniqueness to re be remembered. Okay, I think how. <laughs> hmm. Kingdom relations. Oh, okay, and here is all sorts of information about your lizard, Harry. Mom and Dad and Astrofo, hello, who are you? Became the ruler of Obsidia at the ripe old age of 500. Okay. Grumhild Haraldsdottir. Mm hmm. And here we have some princess. But where are all the princesses? Commons by. Ah, okay, so. Keram, Lucifer, Sigmar, Gunlaf, Spymaster is currently spying on him, Elon, 
No, Elion? Yeah, Elion and Ivan. Well, aren't you cute? Terra Iris, Iroth. Nope. Nope. Fairyar. Okay. <laughs> By the next time I play this game, I promise to figure out how, how to pronounce this name. Nope. Fair. Yar. Perfel? Something like that. Okay. Well, these are all... What do we have? Oh, and we don't have any prisoners right now. And done! The evening was calm, nothing much happened. Time to head to bed. Oh, it's beautiful! Audience face. Try to solve your kingdom's problems by making challenging choices. Time to hold some audiences and day one. Your Grace, I've got some troubling news for you. My spies tell me a cult arisen in Al Marahi, worshipping a lesser god of the Obsidi Pantheon. They proved quite elusive, always meeting in secret and always at a different location, but we found them. Obsidi, you say, what kind of god is they? That, well, we can't have that, can we? Root them out. Leave them be, but continue to keep watch on them, yeah? We'll, we'll leave them be for now. As you wish, Your Grace. Though I certainly shall keep an eye on them. Too, if need be. Mm -hmm. Drake Master, my liege, we have heard a disturbing news of a giant wolf eating grandmothers in the northern woods. We can't have that now, can we? Grandmothers? Why only grandmothers? I haven't the foggiest idea, my liege. Regardless, should we investigate? Yes. Yes. We need our grandmothers. Oh, that's it for today. No more audiences. I am done. Okay, you guys are all busy. Should I? Okay, let's. And now, now I need to get more of the loyalty. What can I do here? Mm. Okay, done. Nothing special happened today. Time to head to bed. A letter has arrived. Hey Amir, it's your pal Omar. A long time no talk. Don't got time for your buddies now that you have the throne, huh? Don't worry, I get it. We all have our responsibilities. Something happened that reminded me of you. Remember that old lady with all the cats, that one who lived next to Miss Rabbies? She was like a hundred years old when we were going to prep school. Well, I was walking past her house yesterday, minding my own business, and there she was, alive and kicking. Can you believe that? The cat lady is still alive. Maybe she's a witch or some shit. Anyway, let's catch up sometime, Omar. Yeah, bro. Let's do. My liege, I don't mean to worry you, but our resources are growing thin. Perhaps you should focus more on our resources? Time to hold some audiences, okay? Your Grace, a moment of your time. Hello, Naki. Do not go to the keyboard. Thank you. I swear, whatever Barry told you about the stable boy, I did not. What have you done? That's not what I was going to. What stable boy? 
Um, nothing. Nothing. Totally nothing. Sure. Anyway, it's about the cult. The one you shed, we should let practice in peace. Oh yes, what became of them? Well, their numbers have grown since then. Like, really grown. It turns out that they... knew that we... What? It turns out that they knew that we knew of their doings, and because we let it go, they've grown emboldened and now operate in pro public. Great, right? Should we allow this, Your Grace, or should we put a halt to their actions? Your call. <sighs> Al Marahi allows its citizens the freedom to practice whichever religion they wish, so long as they do no harm, they are well within their rights. It's probably best to stop them. Their expansion will breed rumor and paranoia among the kingdom, and it's and we've got troubles enough as it is. Um. I'm gonna go with the freedom of religion. As long as they're not harming anyone, it should be. Okay, you got it, G. Hi, boss. Got some bad news. What is it? It's about Ndeem, a barber. A barber? Your barber. Oh, oh, my barber, of course. Ndeem. His stories are hilarious. What happened to him? Is he sick? In the head, maybe. He's been caught selling secrets to foreign spies. Though he says he did it to raise money for his family. Do you believe that? I do, actually. We looked it up. He's got a son who gets sick a lot. Ah. <sighs> I feel for him, but I can't bend the law for him. We'll have to lock him up. His reasons were altruistic. Give him a slap on the wrist. I feel for him, but yeah. Sorry. The law is the law. Oh, now my happiness went down. And that's it for today. No more audiences. I am done. Barry's brewed his potion. Okay. Prince reports. Good love. His love for history is admirable. Who wouldn't like a man who's so cultured? Too bad he hates fish dishes. He puts great care in his appearance and spends a lot of time grooming. His hair is always on point. Hmm. Okay, continue spying. You guys are busy. And I'm still still don't know how to do this, but I don't have enough support to pass on any laws. But you. Yeah, improve relations. I'm on it, boss. Done. Oh wait, should I have... Is it the dungeon? Go talk with the... Barber? Well, I'll do it tomorrow. The evening was calm, nothing much happened. A letter has arrived! Prince Amir. It's very generous of you to offer education to all children, but are you sure it's the right choice? I'm afraid the more talented children will suffer if the schools are filled with street rats. Street rats. A worried nobleman. Well, a worried nobleman. That's not going to happen. Also, if you were so worried, you would have given me your name. And okay, time for audiences. Hey, boss. Barry, I was wondering about. Maybe locking up the barber guy wasn't the best idea. And why is that? You said yourself the law is the law. Well, because your hair's looking pretty shaggy around the ears, Prince. You could really use a trim. <laughs> That's not a problem, I can cut it myself. I'll just grow it longer then. That's in style, right? Right? Yeah, long hair for everyone. Everyone. <laughs> Don't look at me! I don't know what human- <coughs> You kids like these days? 
Oh, I think it might look nice. So that's what I'm doing. Ha. Okie dokie. Oh dear. Suspicion meter just went up. They don't like long-haired men in this part of the world. Your grace, I bring news. Let me guess, the cult. <laughs> Read like a book. Not bad, G, not bad. Yes, the cult's population has since exploded to nearly 10% of our Almarahi's population. So, suffice it to say, they're demanding status as a recognized religion and equal protection under the law. Um, and we'll give it to them, of course. 10% is a lot of people. No, they may practice their religion, but we must maintain Marahidian culture. Oh. Okay, I probably should have read a little bit more carefully what the um, game told me about the obsidian people. Okay, let, let's keep click that one. As you say, Your Grace, I'll get on that. Truth be told, I was afraid of what the nobles were going to say if you said otherwise. Oh, <sighs> and that's it for today. And time to ah, oh, the door suddenly slams open. Ooh. Oh no, a princess! Prince Amir, a princess is here to propose to you. Good luck. Thanks. Spy on this princess to receive information about her likes and dislikes the next time she comes. Okay. My name may or may not be called Elion, and I may or may not be from Aeroth. I am here to either marry you or to find a hidden treasure under your palace. Okay. Uh, I can marry you because, um... <laughs> Gotta go up with something quick. My mother is a hamster. Perdoname, no hablo la princesa. My royal bard only knows one song and plays it constantly. <laughs> oh, these are so cute! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, well, let, let's go with my royal bard only knows one song. I touched a rat, I think I might have the plague. I accidentally took my cat's meds. <laughs> I can't hug every cat yet, this one. So I probably need to go find a carrot, so I need to burn all my clothes, so I need to find my grandfather's lost treasure. Um, uh, this this, uh, this <laughs> makes no sense. But yeah, uh, I probably need to go find a... <laughs> My royal part only knows one song and plays it constantly, and I can't hug every cat, so I probably need to go find a carrot. <laughs> that, my friend, is the worst excuse I have ever seen. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. Uh, I have to go now. <laughs> Greet your parents for me, won't you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> of course, my lady. Okay, I'm gonna do... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. I can put the camera down here. So now you can see the suspicion meter right there. Yeah, I, I didn't think of it. Knock. You are slightly inconvenient. Well, the castle is quiet again. Good riddance. Ah, Magda managed to impress the Gnops with her vast knowledge of war and strategy. Your relationship with Gnupfarjarn fell? Has strengthened. Brilliant. Okay, you guys are busy. Gather armies, gather wealth. Okay, you should go do that. 
And let's visit the dungeon. Wait! Ah! Here! Can I talk to you? No? Hm? Obsidia. Kingdom mostly populated by vampires. It's situated in the eastern mountain range, but also owns a barren plain situated on the west side of the mountains. The evening was calm. We ate our Wednesday dinner peacefully. A letter. Many greetings, your grace. It has come to our attention that the citizens of Aeroth has fallen deathly ill as has been committed to one of your hospitals. We wish to move him to his family to spend the rest of his life with the people he loves. Because of his condition, we require aid from the court wizard Barry. We require your permission for your court wizard's aid, Prince Amir, with kind resist, healer of Aeroth. Yeah, I'll tell Barry to help. Amir, my man! Yup! How have you been? I just wa wanted to give you an update, bro to bro. My parents are talking about setting me up with Talitha from Press School. Can you believe it? What a deal! Okay, maybe you can't. I know she used to be well, a little bit weird, with her nose always buried in one of those books of hers. Barely ever even said a word to me at school. Well, turns out she grew into a real beauty. She's a bit on the thin side, but oh man, the curves sh she does have. Wow, jealous much? Well, of course you aren't. You've got all the richest and hottest babes from all over Terra Iris lining up at your doorstep. But for a lowly noble like me, Talitha is a great match. I'm curious, have you decided who you're going to marry yet? Of course, it must be hard with all these lovely ladies to choose from. Let me in on the latest gossip, Omar. Time to hold some audiences. My liege, we have investigated the woods and have found the wolf's den. Did you find any grandmothers? I think it best I don't answer that question, Prince. Probably a lot of bones of the grandmothers, then. What should we do next? Lure it out and kill it. Grandmothers must be avenged. Yes, they must. Lure it out and capture it. Such a ferocious beast would be a great asset to the kingdom. Ah, let it be. Just a wolf. Um, Kill it for the sake of grandmothers or trap it. Um... Mm. Yeah, we'll we'll kill the wolf. Your grace, something weird. Everything is here. Here is weird, spy master. True that. I guess this is actually pretty normal then. The plan palace is completely out of turnips. Turnips. I mean, okay, but I literally could not care less about that. Oh, uh, sure. Find out why, maybe? Um, I don't like turnips, so... Wasn't sure if you would, but okay. I won't bother you any more about it, Prince. Thanks. Just take care of that. Okay... Prince reports. Good love. When I went to meet with the court, I was warned not to mention pets in front of Gunlaf. He is refusing all marriage requests from princesses and noblewomen and isn't even making any excuses. Either he is gay or he already has a special someone. Or both. Um, okay, now I can... to mention pets. Okay, we will not court him just yet. I want you to spy that. He was from here. That one. So 
I can get a right answer to her when she comes proposing to me the next time. Hello, may I have a moment of your time, your highness? I have a small moment, shoot. I was wondering, I mean, we were wondering if you'd like to join some of us for a small meeting, if at all possible. We would like to discuss the current state of the homeless in the city. Hmm, a noble cause, I would like to join you, I don't have time for that, you can have these meetings without me. Um, well, I, this is something a ruler should be aware of. Thank you, Your Highness. I will form everyone right away. Honorable Prince Amir. I would have never imagined my daughter would go to school. She's been helping around your bakery, and I always felt bad we couldn't afford to send her to school. Business hasn't been great lately. It will be harder to run the bakery without her, but I'm willing to work twice as hard if it means my daughter will have a brighter future, a baker and a father. Well. Thanks, Baker. Good to know. Okay, we have day five. Time to hold some audiences. The wolf has been killed. Suffice it to say, it was no easy feat, drowning the beast, but our soldiers prevailed. Yeah. Excellent. Send his fur to that place, the kingdom with all the fur. Well done. Have our leather workers craft a fine set of armor from its hide for the man who slew the beast. Ooh, This one will probably strengthen my alliance with the kingdom with all the fur. Um... Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is a tough one, because I also want to reward the guy who actually killed the beast. Hmm. Yeah, this one. Fine idea, my liege. Shall the armor have a name? Yes, Grandmother's Revenge. I'll, um, I'll pass that on. My liege, the library is on fire! Fuck! Evacuate surrounding buildings. Put it out now. Put it out, at once. The fire is now under control, but I regret to report that there were some casualties. Damn! The fire spread to the surrounding buildings and some were not fortunate enough to escape. God damn, I should have evacuated! Oh. Send my condolences to the families that have suffered. Notify Seraph and tell them to find out what happened. Libraries don't just randomly catch fire. That one. Okay, no more audiences for today, and the door suddenly slams open. Oh no, a princess. Are you the same princess? Ah, Prince Amir. A princess is here to propose you. Good luck. Hi, I am called Frigga, and I hail from the beautiful land of Knupferjar Herfrel. Yeah. I'm so excited to be here, and it would be so cool to marry you! I can't marry you because... I'm going to become a monk. No, I think we'll save that one later. I've decided to my life to... Dedicated my life to learning ice hole swimming. I have a family emergency. Well, my library just burnt down, so... My dog likes to be everywhere. I still can't hug every cat. I am but a leaf in the wind. I am but a leaf in the wind, so I must sing. 
So I need to perform a blood ritual. So I need to figure out how to get rid of my shadow. Uh -huh. <coughs> this one probably. I have a family emergency and I'm about to leave in the wind. So I need to figure out how to get rid of my shadow. That at least made some sort of sense maybe. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. Oh crap! I have to go now. Greet your parents for me, won't you? Yes, absolutely. That castle is quiet again. Good riddance. Okay! Barry managed to charm the obsidian by sending them magical gifts. Drake Master's troops did a good job collecting taxes. Good, good, good. Very good. This and yeah, you're busy. Gather army, gather wealth. Yeah, gather more wealth, and you are spying. We are done. Ah, what a bright, blessed day! The sun is shining, the breeze is blowing, and the birds are singing in the garden. Hello, birds. How are you this afternoon? Did you just... Really? I treat you better than this, pigeons. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I need time to head to bed. Okay, this is your royal gayness. Uh, thank you for watching this episode. If you liked it, let me know. This game is really cute really really cute i like the aesthetics that i <laughs> the story is quite hilarious um yeah we'll see how how the story goes we are 5 days in the suspicion meter is quite high i don't like that so let's see if we can get it down at some point but anyway, thank you so much for watching this and have a great day and I'll see you again next time.